And welcome back. It is time to wrap up this broadcast with the Aldersons Awards West postgame show. For trophies, awards, t-shirts, and so much more, go to aldersons.net for their full catalog. Welcome back to Tumwater District Stadium. I'm Tony Davila along with Keith Clark. For those watching live or on demand, or if you are watching this post-game show in the recap on the Eli Sports Network, here is what happened. In the first half, it was Tumwater getting going early. It was a 39-yard run by Hoyt to make it 7-0. Tumwater was able to hold uh, Central Catholic to a punt on the next drive. And it was a turnover by Tumwater. Then it was a five-yard touchdown catch by Central Catholic to make it 7-7 in the first quarter. In the second quarter, it was Central Catholic that would get a 51-yard touchdown run by Bynum to make it 14-7. Tumwater's next drive would be a 33-yard touchdown run by Hoyt to make it 14-all. Then it was Central Catholic Jordan King with a 15-yard touchdown catch to make it 21-14 Central Catholic. Hoyt would get another touchdown, a one-yard touchdown run after a 42-yard run, catch-in run by Austin Payne for the uh, one that would lead to the one-yard touchdown run, making it 21-all at halftime. In the second half, started out great. Strip sack by Otten led to a fumble recovery. Then it was a 22-yard pass to Ryan Otten to make it 28-21 Tumwater. Central Catholic would score on a three-yard touchdown run by Hardeman but miss the PAT, making it 28-27 at that point. Then in the fourth quarter, It was a 10-yard touchdown pass to Austin Terry to make it 35-27 to Tumwater with the lead. Then a two-yard touchdown run by Bynum in the fourth and a two-point conversion to the tight end, making it 35-all. That's where it would stand for the rest of the quarter. We would go to overtime where it was a 15-yard touchdown pass to Jordan King, 42-35, Central Catholic, Tumwater final drive ends in a pick at the five-yard line, and Central Catholic comes away with the 42-35 win in overtime. And that's a lot. (laughs) That is a lot of scoring. It is time now for our MVPs of the game for the visiting side. Who do you like? Gosh, man, I've been sitting here thinking about it, and um, I could give you a couple. Um, There's a few out there that they really had big games. Winston had a huge game, uh, both offense and defense. Uh, and Marion Winston, King had a big offensive game. Uh, Jordan King had a big offensive game. Crew Newman had a really good yeah. game at quarterback as well, yeah. and Bynum at running back had a big game for the Rams. Yeah, I'm. I'm for me. I'm gonna go with Newman, the quarterback, the sophomore, doing a great job, throwing the ball, running the ball, making really good decisions when it really mattered, and uh, converting on those big situations, and just you know, basically walking their team into the end zone there in overtime. So that, that's my. Yeah, that's my I, pick. I I can I I agree. He made some some really good plays that aren't gonna be noticed by a lot. Yeah. Being able to scramble, throw the ball out of out of bounds, made some big heads up plays that uh, big time for his sophomore to come up huge in that one. And time now for our home team MVP. Who do you like there? Again, it could be you know you definitely have a couple of players. I mean, I like uh, Peyton Hoyt for sure with his his touchdowns and his scoring. I mean, his he's just been a scoring machine this year, and he was he was bundled up a little bit there in the second half, but uh, still made some pretty big plays. Um, I mean, gosh, you could go with uh, with Ryan Otten, too, with the big plays he made on offense and defense. And then Courage Award, I'd, I'd give to Brady Prothero for, for getting banged up and, and hanging in there. But um, it, what, what's your thoughts? One that you, I, I liked Ashton Payne. I liked Ashton yeah. Payne on the returns. Yeah. He had an interception. He played really good on the defensive end. I thought he played really well. Austin Terry played yeah. well uh, in the second half 
for the T-Birds. Um, man, there's a <laughs> lot going on. Yeah. I, I, could, I could go with Ashton Payne, too. I mean, he was making big plays, and, and they actually it looked like they tried to stay away from him a little bit in the second half. So, I mean, he definitely made an effect by them not throwing at him. So Yeah, I will go with Ashton Payne as the – player of the of the MVP for Tumwater. All right, that will do it for us as that puts a wrap on this one again, the final score, the Central Catholic squad out of Oregon with a 42-35 win over Tumwater. We'll see you next time here on the Eli and NFHS Sports Networks. Have a great rest of your night. We're out.